is part 51 of WCF video series. In this video, we'll discuss message confidentiality and integrity with transport security. This is continuation to part 50, so please watch part 50 before proceeding. In part 47 of this video series, we discussed message confidentiality and integrity with message-based security. Out of the box, WSHTP binding provides message-based security. Message-based security automatically encrypts and digitally signs the messages to provide confidentiality and integrity. We have practically seen this in part 47 by inspecting the logged messages using the service trace viewer. Out of the box, net TCP binding provides transport security. Even with transport security, all the messages are encrypted and digitally signed to provide confidentiality and integrity. Let's understand this with an example. Let's flip to Visual Studio. We'll be working with the same example that we worked with in the previous session. So we have built this simple service in the previous session. And if you look at the configuration file, notice the binding we are using. It's net TCP binding. And net TCP binding implements security at the transport layer. Let's go ahead and enable message logging for this WCF service. To do that, click on the Tools menu, select WCF Service Configuration Editor, and then open the config file. And to enable message logging, click on the Diagnostics folder, enable Log Auto Flush, and enable message logging. And then set Log Entire Message to True. Alright, let's go ahead and run our WCF service. The service is up and running now. Let's go ahead and run the client application. Let's issue a request and we got the response back. So both the request and response messages should have been logged now. So let's go ahead and open the service host project folder in Windows Explorer. And there we have the service log file. So let's go ahead and open this log file with Microsoft Service Trace Viewer utility. And the last message here is the response message. And if you look at the messages tab here, look at that. This is the body of the SOAP envelope. And then surprisingly, you know, the message is in plain text. We expected this message to be encrypted and digitally signed. So why is it in plain text? The reason for that is because, you know, the encryption and the digital signature is supplied at the transport layer. By the time the message is arrived at this log, it's already decrypted. That's the reason why we see it in plain text. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.